All right, but there we go. How much did we get? Oh, that just took my breath away. Oh, I don't think I've gotten over 12,000. I just had 22,000 grams of magnetite. Well then, let's see what's inside, ladies and gentlemen. This might be our biggest bucket ever. everybody, Dre here, and welcome back to our little nightmare in Haynes, Alaska. We're back at the Tier 4 Mine Claim, and uh, if you missed the last episode, well, we've been trying to figure out how exactly we're going to dig out this area. As you can see, I've done a lot with the excavator, and I'm not totally against using the excavator for this whole thing, but obviously the front end loader is a little bit faster if we can get this set up. Now, you guys gave me a few suggestions. Uh, there's certain things I did try, like for example, a lot of you guys are saying use the shovel. Well, let me show you, first of all, how little the shovel moves at a given time. I mean, it's a shovel, so it would take probably tens of hours to get rid of all these little holes if we did want to do it this way, and sometimes it's just a pain in the butt to actually get rid of a lot of this stuff. On paper, this would work, but I'm I'm pretty crazy, but I'm not crazy enough to sit here for, who knows, a day, two days, trying to get rid of all this junk. Uh, so I am not going to use the shovel to get rid of all this, because that is just crazy. Now, a lot of you guys said try to use the bulldozer, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. So we're going to get the bulldozer and just try it. I gotta say, with how sideways this bedrock is, though, I don't know if the bulldozer is going to work well. Uh, but it's 30k that I'm willing to risk. I think it's 30k to rent the bulldozer anyways. And yeah, we'll give it our best shot. Worst case, we gotta use the excavator, go old school on this, and we can't really do an open pit mine. That being said, we did a lot with the excavator already, and there, if you remember, there's these two lines of veins that go this way. It really won't take that long to use the excavator. The downside is we do lose a little bit of the good stuff uh, because the excavator can't get all the dirt, or at least it would take forever to get all the dirt. But I don't really care. If we leave a little gold here, that's not my problem. I'm using this place as, you know, just a rapid way to get enough money to buy the Tier 5 claim. I want to get that Tier 5 claim, buy the upgrades, uh, because I, honestly, I really don't like this place. The layout's all right, but just the bedrock issue that we're having is pretty bad. Actually, that kind of reminds me. Let's actually look at the gold map. So you can see these bedrock lines. I'm assuming that's what these are, and that's kind of why our ground's so wavy over here. You can see it goes all the way through our gold vein. Even over on this other gold vein, too, I don't think we're going to have stable bedrock. So having an open pit mine here is probably a bad idea. The thing I'm scared about is what does this place look like? Okay. So this is the final claim. This is actually looking really good. It looks like we have some ridges here or something, and maybe a drop-off or two. But at least if I'm correct with this map... Oh, for some reason, I thought there was five parcels. I had a brain fart there. Parcel two has relatively flat ground, at least where we were mining, which is a lot of over here and over here. So that's why that ground was so flat. It might be the topsoil, though, too, though, of that map. So I have no idea why the bedrock's so crazy here. Um, but yeah, we're going to try our best. Let's go get that bulldozer, see if that helps. And uh, if that doesn't work, we're just going to have to use the excavator and go old school. All right, so I really hope this works because, uh, yeah, I might actually buy a bulldozer if it can help us a little bit. So, like I said, I think it's about 30 grand to buy this for a day. Oh, no. Damn. Okay, I, I, I missed a whole digit there. This is way better. I'm so glad it's only 3,000 because uh, we could technically even buy the bulldozer, but I just want to rent it. Um, so, I guess that's all we needed to do. Let's actually check. I know we got a new paint job for Christmas, I believe. So let's go to the paint shop real quick and see. Is it this one? Huh, three, a thousand bucks. Is that worth it? Oh my God, the Halloween one's actually really freaking cool. Actually, the Christmas one. Let's let, let, let's do that. We're gonna paint it. That one's free as well. I don't know why the Christmas one's a thousand and the Halloween one's free, but all right. All right, let's uh, rent that bulldozer for today, and uh, I mean, hell, we could even have it for a couple days, considering it's that cheap. I, I don't know why I thought it was 30. Um, problem is, I think we're going to need a new uh, spot if we don't want to move anything. Oh, yeah, it's, it's right on the left. That's right. So we can either upgrade or get rid of one of these. How much is the upgrade? Ugh, well, I got money right now, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, let's get the upgrade, because we're going to need it sooner or later anyways, and... I really hope that's worth it. So where the hell is my... Okay, there's the bulldozer. Bring that over there. And pay some more money because everything costs money in this game. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. 
It might, oh, come on, the camo door is still there. Why does that door never change? God damn it. Oh, but that is a beautiful paint job though. What does that say? Brooke? Bro spooky, spooky. Brooke wasn't even close. I mean, it kind of looks like Brooke if you stare at it long enough. Uh, what does that say? Sebastian? Okay, I gotta say with the leopard print seat, this thing is beautiful, man. All right, let's get back to our claim. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait! What? Oh, that's right. <laughs> There's no third-person camera, so I only ever see myself inside vehicles. So, now I'm just curious what we wear when we're in the Christmas theme. Because I didn't expect it to change my character, but yes, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm wearing a freaking jack-o'-lantern. That's amazing. Oh my god, it is beautiful. Uh, let's turn this thing off so we still have gas later on. Let me see what I look like inside this. Please have a Santa hat on. Please have a Santa hat on. Please have a Santa hat on. Oh, come on! You put a jack-o'-lantern on the uh, Halloween one that's free. You got the Christmas one that I gotta pay a thousand for. You don't even put a Santa hat on. I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty upset with that. At least a Santa hard cap. Come on. I mean, I understand I gotta wear a hard hat, but seriously. Okay, how am I gonna want to even attack this? Because I'm probably gonna slide down the side. I guess we'll just go in and see what happens here. All right, land mover. Let's see if you can do this thing. We're gonna, first of all, get in there and drop that plow down. And, I mean, that's working. See, the problem is once I hit... Oh, no. I already got stuck. I shouldn't have went so far ahead. Okay, at least the bulldozer's got a little bit more grip, obviously, with those treads. I mean, it's kind of working. It's definitely not as easy as flat ground, though. And yeah, I'm, I'm just getting stuck on the sidewall, just like the front end loader did. Um, oh man, let me see if I can get over here. I wish the front end loader had treads on it now, because this is a lot easier to move around at least. I mean, it's moving it, you can see, but it's kind of got a mind of its own. Sometimes it moves, sometimes it decides not to. And I think that's just because my blade isn't perfectly on the ground all the time. Alright, come on. This should move, right? This should definitely... Come on. What the f... Dude, you're right in the blade! Come on! I'm actually making mounds. Like, I just made that mound. I'm still stuck! Just get me off! Dude, I, I am pushing all the way forward. You can see my controls in the far right, by the way, if you are curious. I am just not moving. All right, so I'm pulling the plug. I'm gonna say screw it to this, and um, yeah, we're just gonna get rid of this this uh, bulldozer. I'm just gonna use the excavator. I know some people really didn't want to see the excavator, but honestly, excavator is still my favorite piece of machinery here. I'm just really good with it. Uh, it's kind of nice not using the front end lo and, and loader for a little bit. So, we'll check the bedrock when we start doing this side of the mine. If we can make some flat ground over there, I will definitely use the front end loader. But for, for this other side, I think we're going to go back to the excavator and just earn as much money as quickly as possible so we can move on to the next claim and uh, get some tier 5 mining equipment. So, yeah. It's frustrating, I know, because I did want to do an open pit mine as well, but, I mean... You kind of got to do what Mother Nature gives you. So is this, is this where I sell? I mean, this is where fast travel goes, so I don't think that's where I sell. Where do I sell big vehicles? Oh, yeah, there, there, there is a spot. Totally forgot. Okay, we'll sell that before I forget and waste some money. And, uh, yeah, that was at least it was only 3K. I mean, it was just a good tester. But, yeah, we're going to go back to the excavator and try and move some dirt today. Wait. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> You always need spare parts in this game. I wonder if I can take the parts off of a rental. Where the hell is the battery in this thing? <laughs> Before I sell it back, can I strip the sucker? Is the battery in here? Is there even a battery in the do in the bulldozer? Oh, Jesus. I almost walked into that. Oh, I found something. All right, we're just going to take that off. Fuel filter. Yeah, we can always use one of those. <laughs> There we go. Just doing some minor theft today. No big deal. I'll put that over there in case we need one for another vehicle. I never actually needed a fuel filter. I didn't even know these things had them. And look at that! Alright, free battery. Today is my birthday. Dude, I can't believe you could do that, though. That'd probably be cheaper than buying batteries and stuff. Just steal them off rentals. <laughs> oh, man. If I could make a profit selling this, that'd be amazing. Alright, then get that one off. Ah, oh, you bastard. Well, I can still use it. But it's considered zero because it's a rental. The question is, can I put these on other vehicles? Because I do blow hoses from time to time, so... Unfortunately, we can't profit off doing this, but we can always get some spare parts. 
I gotta earn money today, man. I'm just trying to do some minor theft because it's fun. All right, can we sell this though? Yes, we can. So <laughs> Wait, do I still have my things? I do. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Tips for you guys. If you need parts, just rent vehicles and then steal them. All right, and we're ready to go once again. Now, I already have two things of dirt ready for this cleanout, so we're going to do that real quick. Um, ooh, okay. How much water do we currently have? Still have 400,000 liters. We're totally fine. I'm just going to add a few more to it because it's so damn cheap. All right, so we're going to add, yeah, let's do about that. 4, 000, four, four grand worth. We're going to fill that up. And yeah, that should last us a long time. Okay. Ah, oh, man, my favorite part of this game, actually getting some gold. And hopefully we can do well today, because last episode, we had one bucket of like 800 gram, and then the rest was, was was decent, don't get me wrong, but it was nothing absolutely amazing. Did I do that right? I just want to make sure I don't have something on. And yeah, let's get back to digging today. So while this is doing that, I'm going to go over here and look. I've actually highlighted the perimeter of this whole go gold node. So I kind of want to see how big this thing truly is because because I've never actually turned on the whole thing. You can see this is all going to be like bearing ground here. So a lot of this isn't good at all, but this is the perimeter of where this vein is. Obviously in the middle is good as well. So we got a lot to dig down this way, a whole lot. And then there's another vein over here. This is a smaller vein. So maybe we should pinpoint this one today um, because it's still really big, but this is definitely the smaller of the two. And it's also more shallow here. This gets really deep. So I don't know how we're going to be able to reach all the way down. So yeah, we'll move this stuff over later. And yeah, I think we'll we'll, we'll go for the smaller vein first. This one's got the, the richer gold as well. But the best part of the gold is like actually right around here. So once we get there, we should be earning lots of money. All right, and let's get digging. I thought that said whore. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These, uh... I gotta say, these skeleton ones are the greatest thing ever. Uh, I do like the Frankenstein one the most, because let me show you something when we get over there. Maybe I should move that light. Ah, we'll do it later. I'm too lazy right now. I want to earn as much as possible as quickly as possible. But the skeleton on the uh, Frankenstein has bones going all the way up the conveyor belt. I thought that was absolutely adorable. Okay, so let's get this in range here. It's rather shallow ground, so we should be able to move a lot of dirt today. And that should be good for the start. Let's get moving. And I gotta be honest, I'm so excited to be back to using the uh, excavator. Let's get the right camera here. And uh, yeah, hopefully there's lots of gold in this ground. We're gonna move up just a little bit because that's not perfect. All right, that should be good. And we already got 50% in here. Technically, we could probably get the, mo the majority of this clean out with our old dirt. So I'm kind of glad we kind of prepped for that because we should be able to do a big clean out today and earn some money, hopefully pay off that loan, that little loan that I have. And, uh, yeah. Really hope we find some gold nuggets, too, because we haven't found a gold nugget in friggin' forever. And I could use all the gold I could get. And just to answer a few common questions, a lot of you guys were asking why I'm even using the Frankenstein now if I can't bring it all the way to the, uh, wash plant. The thing is, I could definitely use the dump truck to fill that if I wanted to, but I'd have to lift my bucket so high, and, uh... Time is money, so having this thing close to the ground makes, you know, lo loading it up really quick. And that's pretty much the main reason I use the, X the uh, Frankenstein anyways. It wasn't because of its reach. Its reach is a benefit, but uh, it really doesn't help too much at all. So if you're wondering why I'm, I'm using the Frankenstein, that is exactly why. And look at the, how much dirt we've moved already. Forgot how quick this is, at least at the start, when you're not too far away from the Frankenstein. You can move a lot of dirt really quickly. All right, got my first 100%, of course. As you can see, the buckets didn't change, so I just quickly did that. But looking at the mats, at least down here, it's looking really good. I'm excited about this clean-out because these are some dirty hog pan mats. That's for damn sure. Uh, we'll grab all this stuff later. I'm just trying to do two clean-outs as per usual. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. And clearly rushing is not the best idea. All right, and good morning, everybody. Uh, we are on our final dump truck, and as you can see, we moved a lot of dirt, man. Uh, yeah, this whole hole is brand new, and I kind of pushed this back more than I actually expected. Having a little problem now, though, uh, my excavator reach is pretty much maxed out, and I can't actually mine much deeper than what you're looking at right now, unless I angle this perfectly. And I don't know if you've noticed, when I go down here and you can see through the wall, it gets much, much deeper. So, well, not much, much, but probably, I'd say it probably evens out at about 
five feet deeper. So we're not going to be able to get all the way to bedrock, at least with the excavator. So maybe we'll come in later with the front end loader and pick up the rest of this stuff. But honestly, all we need is all we need is 2.4 million. That sounds really bad, but we've earned a lot of money in this game. In gold mining, I mean, you do earn a lot of money. And I need a break, man. That was a lot of dirt moving for one day. Uh, but I gotta say, it's nice to be back in the excavator. God damn it, it is at 100%. Okay, so I did waste a little bit of dirt. My bad. But that's all right. We we, we, we got lots of dirt and hopefully lots of gold as well. All right, so there we go, 100%. I think that's all I need. I could go get an extra dump truck just to play it safe, but I think we're really close. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're at 88. Generally, you get about 25% every dump truck, so... We should be good, and I've already prepared and moved the majority of the stuff over just because I have a lot of free time now uh, because I, I don't want to wait waste my water, so I don't go back to mining, so I just kind of watch this and uh, do anything that doesn't involve mining while this is going on. So we got all the moss mats until the ones get swapped uh, back. We got all the buckets aside from the ones that are actually being filled right now. There's not much we can actually do right now. I guess we could move the magnetite separator over. But my truck's all the way over there. I'm way too lazy to get it. All right, but I gotta say, it was a nice day of gold mining. It's I, it's kind of exciting being back to the excavator. Makes my life way easier, because it's way easier to use in the front end loader. And, uh, yeah, we still moved a lot of dirt regardless of what we're using. And now we just wait. We won't have to wait too long. Looks like we're at 97% already. Oh, what was that? Okay, moss mats are being swapped. Fortunately, nothing else is, but... I guess we can probably power this sucker down in a second here. These ones are a bit behind, though. I want to actually get a full 100%. All right, by the time we get over there, it's going to be 100%. All right, so we still got a little dirt in the system. That's totally fine. We'll use that later and shut it off. It's time to see how much gold we actually earned today. How's the moss mats looking? Not as good this time. We got a few good ones, uh, but definitely not, not, not as good as the last cleanout. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll. Let's turn on the right water and get my gold separation things on. So there we go. Whew, I don't know why this one felt a lot longer than any other two cleanout that I've ever done, but hopefully it's worth it here. So we got everything over here. We're actually pretty organized. You kind of got to be organized in this new area because it's so damn tight. Uh, but yeah, we got all the little guys in here. So let's turn this sucker on. Usually, I've noticed lately that the little guys have more gold on them than the ones that come from the top, the big moss mats. So, generally, you get about 30%. It's looking like, well, actually, maybe a little more than 30% now that I think about it. But still, it's looking real good. Oh, actually, it'd be about 50% now that I actually think about it. And, yeah, we are definitely going to go over that. So, this might be a good clean out. It's hard to tell because, like I said, the little guys generally have a little more on them. I don't know what is up right now, but I am lagging like crazy, as you can see. I haven't got over 30 FPS in a while. A little worried. Hopefully that doesn't stay. Sometimes, you know, it just comes down to the, usually the weather, and it is raining out right now, so hopefully that does go away. All right, and there is all the gold pay dirt. This one's got a little bit in it, so let's get it done. Whew, and I need a little bit of a break. Holy crap. And that, that bucket had 1% for the record, and it had over 1,000 grams of magnetite. That is actually shocking. All right, we're just going to add to that bucket. Why not? We'll throw, I'm not even sure what this one is, but there we go. Yeah, the magnetite in this ground is so much better than our last site. It's weird. All right, but there we go. How much did we get? Oh, that just took my breath away. I don't think I've gotten over 12,000. I just had 22,000 grams of magnetite. Well, then. Let's see what's inside, ladies and gentlemen. This might be our biggest bucket ever. Ever. And I'm thinking, here we go. Holy crap, we're already at 200. I did it! I finally found the gold nuggets, man! Holy Jesus! This is gonna be over a thousand. Well over a thousand, this is officially... I think our biggest bucket was just over a thousand. I don't know, it was so long ago, but it definitely wasn't 1,300. Holy Jesus Christ! Fifth... I can't even talk! 1657! I would have been happy with that, with this whole freaking cleanout. Okay. Finally, we have found the... G oh, my God. I am so excited right now. Ha oh, okay. oh, man. I thought we were going to get maybe a thousand gram bucket. But seriously, that... That just blew me away. Okay, well, this is... 
Put your guesses down below. What do you think we're going to get today? That might have been one of the lucky buckets once again. It definitely was one of the big buckets. That's for damn sure. But Jesus Christ. Regardless, even these small buckets should be good. We might have like a 5,000 grand payday here. I don't know. It's definitely not going up as fast with this bucket, but... Man, 22,000 grams of magnetite in one bucket. Okay, I keep doing that. Gotta put it back. Okay, 176 grams of gold. So that was probably the planter bucket. That's still one of the biggest planter buckets we've ever had. So we are clearly on the gold. I mean, I'm not surprised. 10,000 grams of magnetite. This is gonna be our biggest, our biggest clean out ever. And it feels so good, man. I've had such a dry run for a while. I mean, we're earning lots of gold, but considering we're on the new claim, we should be earning a lot of gold. And finally, finally we are. 732 grams in that bucket. That, that's, would have been our second biggest bucket this claim yet, aside from the first one that we just got. So, Jesus, this is, this is amazing. I might, by the end of this year, be able to buy the next claim, or this season, I should say. We're already at 43% magnetite, and we've done three buckets. <laughs> oh, man, I'm in such a good mood right now. <laughs> You gotta appreciate times like this in Gold Rush, because it can be frustrating from time to time. What do we got in that one? Okay, that was another planter, guaranteed. And this is another planter as well. All right, we'll get rid of the boring buckets real quick. And 507 grams. I mean, these are still great. These are amazing buckets, but man, I'm just waiting to see 22,000 grams of magnetite again. I'm hoping one of you want to use a good bucket. I know that. Please have close to that in it, and I would be so happy. Okay, I believe that was the final planter bucket. Now, the planter buckets on this yield are giving me 242 grams, which is more than the original cleanout. So, I'm thinking these final two are the big ones. Ah, uh, is that magnetite gonna go up? There we go, 59. Maybe not, 60. It's definitely a good bucket, because we wouldn't get magnetite that quickly if it wasn't, but that should be 240-ish. And yes, 241. What has this gotten it? 7,000? I mean, <laughs> it's funny. I'm mad with 7,000. Any other episode, I would have been happy with that. This is still going to be probably a 500 gram bucket. But, oh, please tell me. Please tell me you are a great bucket. Please. Let's see that magnetite shoot up. 63 already. I'm not, I think we, we, once again, the first bucket, same thing happened last episode. We got the 800 gram bucket in the first one, and the same thing as before. I called it, man, 500 right there. And what do we got in this one? Oh, shoot. Damn it! All right, that's another planter bucket that I missed. So, sorry to ruin the fun one right at the start again, but uh, clearly that, my, the first bucket's my lucky bucket. So I don't know why that first one, again, was so much more than the other cleanout, because technically we did two cleanouts. We should have at least have two buckets that are very similar, but clearly we were really on the gold in one cleanout and decently on the gold in the other cleanout. What did we end off with? Man, I am I am a freaking psychic today. I said I'd be happy with 5,000. We got 5,042. That is officially... I think, by far, our biggest two, two yield cleanout. Is that what I want to call it? Two runs. Two runs of 100%. And I need that right now because we're low on money. So let's go to my favorite man in Haynes, get some uh, gold smelted, and see how much we actually earn today. Okay. The big question is, how much did we earn? Because it's going to be a good payday. I know that. It's a great day when you get three gold bucks. <laughs> oh my god, you get three gold bars and 24 hours of gold mining? Dude, $220,000 in one day. By far my most successful day in this game. Easy, Jesus Christ. And to think, I spent the majority of yesterday screwing around with a bulldozer. If I would have did another 100% clean out, man, who would have known what we would have got today? Probably over 300,000. So, I gotta say my morale was low in this game for a while. It's been, you know, kind of rough lately getting the gold out of the ground. Especially with the move and everything. So, this has brought it back, man. That, 
250, man, almost 250,000 in the bank. A few more days of that, and basically we're gonna be able to buy the next claim. So I gotta say, this has been a great episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Did a lot today. We, we did some paint jobs, as you can see. We did some minor theft as well, so that's always fun. And by far our most successful day of gold mining ever. And that feels amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're going to wrap it up here. And yeah, we'll probably just stick to the excavator and try and move as much dirt as possible. Because clearly it's working. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.